Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. We have five piles today. Who are you going to marry? Uh, we have the, I don't know what the hell that is. We have the red jasper, we have the amazonite. This is a little, I don't know, maybe citrine. We have the amazonite, we have the green jasper, and then we have the clear quartz. We got pile one, two, three, four, and five. If you guys want a personal reading with me, all the information's in the description. I am so excited for today's reading. I think it's so awesome. I love doing um, marriage and uh, wedding readings. Like they're just so awesome. So if you guys like these, can you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments that you're into this? Cause I really love these readings. These are like my favorite, I think to do. Um, we also have letters from the, from the letter jar here. We're going to get some initials, some names, and I'm also going to throw some charms and words from the word bag. So we'll be able to see if we pick up on anything. I'm excited. So guys, check this out. I've got for $7 a month on Patreon, a hundred over a hundred different videos. So you should go check that out for pick a cards, channel messages, stuff like that. Um, and I'm giving away free readings on the 29th of October. So you gotta be there to do that. Okay, so anyway, I will get to your reading and thank you so much for being here guys, bye-bye. Hello, pile one, thank you for being here guys. Before I even get to these cards, I've not looked at these yet. What I wanna do is um, pull some letters first and also some words from the word bag here for you. So let's find out a little bit about you and your future spouse. Who will you marry? Now, I guess I technically should label this as who will you marry? So you might've already married this person. Maybe you're married to them now or you divorced, but you know, let's see. Whoa, that was a lot. Oh, we have wisdom here. I'm just, I'm seeing wisdom in my mind's eye. Okay. They don't have their wisdom teeth or they still do. There's something about their wisdom teeth coming through. Okay. Um, we have window. They could work uh, at windows or they do something with windows as well. The name could be Lynn. Bonnie. Hmm. What do we have here? <laughs> I saw blow. So, you know, okay. Uh, cow, you guys could maybe be in, um, like own a farm together, maybe land. Maybe this person really has an adventurous side. They like to be out in nature, I'm kind of feeling. Um, let's see, Diane. Spirit, what, oh, we have moon. I'm just getting moon here. I don't know why, but um, you might meet at night. You might meet this person at nighttime or during a full moon or a new moon. Bloom, wow. Yeah, this, this person, um, they're really going to like to watch you bloom. Like, I feel like when you meet them, you will have gotten through something really tough in your life. And they're going to help, like, get you out of your shell again. Okay, so it's like you went through something really tough when you meet this person. Um, Cincinnati, <laughs> Orlando Bloom, who knows? Just saying. He's mine, so back off. Okay, uh, but no, we really do have the moon here. So they could be a cancer sign. Let's see. Bond. And James Bond. I don't know why, but I'm getting like stocks and bonds or something. Um, they could be really good with um, finances. Sorry, guys. Don't mean to. Oh, I didn't even notice these weren't in the view. Okay. Um, I'm also getting to, they could have been in jail at one time. <laughs> They've been bonded out. They could have had, uh, oh, look, at I see I'm seeing con. Like, they, they definitely could have been a convict. Okay, okay, that's that's one thing <laughs> that's coming through. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm getting Minnesota. Indiana. One, okay, so they... They're very lucky. This is a really lucky person. Um, they are not lazy in the slightest. Like they are pretty, pretty driven. Um, when you meet them though, there might be something a little off about them. When you first meet them, I'm kind of feeling like you guys, it takes some time to warm up to this person. You might not trust them right away because of their past. Um, but yeah, somebody here. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like this person won money at one time too. They won money. They, they won a large lump sum of money. They could have even bought housing with it or bought a home with it. Okay, so let me see if we get anything from the word bag here. Pile one. Okay. 
see. Crazy love. Yeah. Okay. So I was kind of getting that. One of you is like, yeah, just really kind of out there. Okay. I'm going to just say it. One of you is a little bit more um, adventurous, risk taking, daring uh, this person that you're going to marry. Um, I feel like they're rough around the edges. Okay. They've, they've, they've had like, you know, they've had, they've had a hard life. It feels we have computer. What did I say about windows? Oh my God. You guys have got to comment if that makes sense to you. Computer, Windows, maybe you meet at a place where there's computers. Maybe you're working on a computer when you meet them too. We have Enlightened. Yeah, I'm getting something with my third eye. Um, you help wake this person up. I feel, I feel you're both actually pretty woke. Crystal Magic. Ooh, your name could be Crystal. I was getting Moon Magic too. You're really into that. Calculated. Okay, so, so somebody here is like... The two energies I have is it's kind of stark opposite. It's got one who's kind of more methodical and um, likes to take calculated risks and likes to be, you know, kind of playing it safe, I feel. And the other is the exact opposite, like the exact opposite, guys. I feel one is a little bit more daring and bold and adventurous and the other just kind of is more like, you know, not <laughs> in a way. So yeah, okay, so let's see. It's kind of, it's gonna work though. It's really gonna work out. All right, let's see. Let's get some cards now. Do I wanna do, do I wanna do these? I was gonna get some charms. Yeah, let's do charms. Oh my God, I thought I saw a gun. It wasn't, see, this person had like a life of crime or something. Um, I'm not saying that they were ever involved in like a shooting or anything like that, but I thought this was a gun and it's not. I don't know what the hell it is actually, but I thought it was a gun at first and that this was a key to a jail cell. Immediately in my mind's eye, I felt like they were in jail, okay? That's for some of you. Got Pisces here. Gemini, cute. We've got, uh, maybe one of you is religious, okay? You guys could be, uh, religious together. That's kind of nice. Uh, we have, I don't know what the hell that's like a money bag. Yeah. This is, this person's won money, like, like a large sum of money. Maybe you both have, or maybe they've won twice. Cause there's the same. And then we have, what is this? I think that's Scorpio. Yeah. I think Scorpio. Okay. So let's find out a little bit about your marriage. All right. Super fun. I'm so excited for this. Okay, so I'm gonna, energy is energy, guys. I can't tell which one of you is which. So I'm just gonna give a synopsis of what each energy brings to the table, okay? So this might be you or it might be them, let's see. Nightingale, I feel like this is them. I feel like this is the rebel, okay? I don't know why, but I'm feeling like they're, they're the rebel, okay? Your person. They could love to sing. They're quite romantic, actually. I think this is what got them in trouble. Um, your person is a beautiful beacon of light in a very dark world. And they got mixed up with the wrong people, I feel. And here's you, the otter. Yeah, I think you're a little bit more grounded. So you have air element and earth element. Or excuse me, water, actually. I think I should consider this water. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Now, I'm kind of getting... Um, this is you. You're a little bit more like, well, let's plan it out. Let's think. Okay. Let's, let's do this first. And then this, the, you know, and then this person's a little bit more like, but I want to do it my way. So that is what I'm, that might be a problem, but, um, yeah, overall you guys are really kind of, I like how you're facing opposite directions. You're both independent. See the thing with you is you have this bubble of protection, like you know not to give your energy to everybody, but your nightingale does not know that. See, they're, the more they talk, the more they give away secrets, the more this person gives away like trade secrets, okay? And there's a lot of shallow people in your person's life. So when you meet them, you might teach them how to kind of protect themselves, keep themselves safe. Um, that's gonna be like really a, a key fundamental issue here in this marriage is like trying to keep them safe, keep them from doing stupid things. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so we're gonna get one overall card here for the theme of this marriage. The theme, thank you. Strategy, what did I say? Trying to keep them out of harm's way. Strategizing plans. You could be an accountant or you're in some sort of, something where you, you use like, 
computers a lot or finances. You, you're just one of you is more earth, more earthy, okay, and the other is just kind of in the clouds. I feel doing their own thing, doing their own thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's cute though. It is cute. Um, and I'm feeling like this strategy also has to do with the law of attraction. I feel like you guys, this marriage will be all about bringing in amazing things into your marriage. Um, like new furniture, new house, new experiences. Like there's going to be a lot of manifesting that takes place within this connection. Um, and otters are very playful too. And they mate for life, I think. And they, they hold hands when they sleep. Did you know that? Yeah, I don't know. I think I heard that on the Discovery Channel. Anyway, they're really cute. And... Um, protective very much protective of their home their life their home life right and then you have this nightingale this nightingale could maybe work from home or work work away from home while you work at home something like that i'm getting something with the nightingale about their work let me see if i can tune into that this okay whoever this is has been through thousands of jobs or something like a ton a ton a ton of jobs um they don't sit still for long Okay. They do not. This person is a jack of all trades. They get their, they get excited about certain projects and they, they switch jobs to go do that. So this person's been pretty much in every field you can think of. I'm really getting that. Like every single field you can think of. Their name could literally be Jack. I don't know. Um, but yeah, they've been, look at this. They've been a workhorse. Like they really are. They, they change from job to job to job. A lot of, a lot of job loss. This person could have even been fired from their job several times maybe <laughs> okay yeah yeah they don't sit still okay they do not sit still while this otter they would be caught dead leaving a job <laughs> like I feel like this otter has to have like four jobs lined up first before they take the plunge so yeah total contrasting energies here but it's really nice it works out it, it does work it works all right let's see let's get some tarot here how will you meet the Empress. What will marriage be like? The Ten of Cups. You can love to see it. What will you love about this marriage? The Five of Pentacles. Where will you live? The Star. <laughs> That's cute. And then what will you have in common? Two of Wands. Wow. Wow. You're going to love traveling with this person. You're going to love seeing new experiences. And I think that that's what's so cool about the Nightingale is they have all the cool, like this is the, this is the type of person. And I'm seeing in my mind's eye, um, a man who is, I'm getting a man right now. Sorry, but if you take it or leave it, this person could also be, um, Italian. I'm getting Italian cause I'm hearing an Italian accent. I'm hearing somebody that lives in like new England or something or like, Boston or somewhere like that. And I'm getting that they have like all the coolest people that you'll meet. They want to show you off to their friends. They want to show you off to their family. They love to travel. Okay. This is a big traveler. They love to travel. While, you, while I feel the otter on the other hand loves to be at home, but they also love to make that home special and safe and warm and beautiful. So I really am getting you guys are going to love traveling. That's like what you're going to have in common is always looking for the next best thing. Both of you. Oh, sorry, guys. Always looking for the next best thing, which is great because that's how you're going to expand in this marriage. So how you'll meet the empress. You could literally be meeting through a mom. Maybe your mom introduces you to this person or their mom. Okay. Um, also, how are you going to meet? Let's see. The empress. Eight of swords. Somebody, you meet this person when they're leaving something that is pretty rock solid, or it feels like it, it looks on the surface to be rock solid. One of you is getting out of something quite um, long standing, and it feels like there's another woman. It feels like it's another woman energy, a feminine energy first. Um, they have to kind of remove themselves from that. So I think you're going to meet this person when they're kind of still attached at the hip to someone. Okay, it could be you as well. Maybe you're attached to someone when you meet them. But at first, when you first meet, you will be noticing that they are having probably a hard time leaving behind either maybe a child's mother or a family, uh, a family dynamic, especially their mom. That could be, this person could really have mom issues, okay? 
you'll meet them when they're either getting kicked out of the house or um, going through some sort of shift with, their, with, with this feminine energy. One more. Page of Cups, yeah. So this person <laughs> has kind of been babied their whole life. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, I see this Nightingale. Yeah, yeah, I think it's this energy. Um, they, yeah, I'm hearing Silver Spoon. This person has been spoiled their whole life. Um, and so there's this energy of like, they're either moving into a new home, getting kicked out, or they're in trouble with their family, something like that is when you're going to meet them. So take it or leave it if it's the otter or the nightingale, but I'm getting that somebody is kind of leaving their mom, leaving the nest. The nightingale, I feel, is leaving the nest. So this is what the marriage will be like. <sighs> You can't ask for something better. You might even have children with this person. This is, this is the ultimate life. This is something you want. This is going to be a happy, happy, happy home. Happily ever after. Queen of Swords. Again, after this person leaves the, this, this situation, which seems really dense. I don't like this energy. It's a really heavy energy. This queen, this uh, empress, it's not good. Whatever it is, it's not a good situation. So they're leaving this to come in, in union with you. And I'm feeling like this is going to be something that you almost, hmm. I'm not saying that it, it's, it's good or bad, but you might actually take on this role of like mother in a way because they have just left their mom, it feels. So this is somebody who had mom issues and they might at first think that you are their mom, but I'm hearing that J-Lo song. I ain't your mama. Boy, I ain't your mama. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing for this, this file. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm really getting that you guys are actually going to have children. There's another baby here. So yeah, you guys are going to have kids. Um, this is going to be great. This is going to be exactly what you want. Um, you're, you're, I feel, going to be, um, you're both. This is both of you. Um, very truthful, very blunt. It, you know, it could, yeah, it could come across a little a little rough sometimes. But, but overall, you guys get the truth out. You... You expect the truth, and that's what you guys live by. Um, this is a very prosperous marriage, and this will lead to a lot of happiness and, and health. Okay, we've got the Five of Pentacles here. What was this question? This was uh, what you'll love about the marriage. I think what you're going to love is that, look at this. This kid, this boy, is leaving this mom figure here for me. I don't know why I'm seeing this as a mom. I think what you're going to love about this marriage is that this person chooses you over another woman. <laughs> God, and it sounds kind of bad, but... That, that is something you're going to love. Also, too, I am getting, um, you're going to help nurture this person back to health, and they're going to help nurture you back to health as well. There's a lot of yin and yang energy here. What, what you need, they have, and what they, they need, you have. So that's what you're going to really love about this. You're going to help heal each other back to health, okay? Also, this might be somebody you knew in the past and comes back. The Five of Pentacles can talk about being uh, abandoned, being ghosted, being alienated. And then um, it might be somebody that comes back from the past. So that's always cool. Um, where will you live? Now the star. I'm kind of getting... You guys will travel a lot. Yeah. You'll move a lot. You'll move a lot. Um... It feels like each home you make, it's beautiful and it's, it's going to have so much warmth to it. But I feel like you're going to move because I'm almost getting like you guys could live near maybe a water source at one time and then again near mountains. I don't feel you. Tell me more about the star. One more. Yeah, there it is. Eight of Cups. I feel like you guys move around a lot. A lot. Yeah, there's another mountain, like a little mountain and then water. So it could be that you live in two different places during, well, you might live in more than that. But yeah, you move. You move a lot. You move a lot. Where will you live? Nine of Swords. You guys kind of build from the ground up like i'm feeling with the nine of swords you guys live in something very humble at first and just throughout the marriage you continue to grow and grow and grow and expand your resources and as well as manifest more abundant places to live like at first though i feel like you guys kind of maybe just crash even a, a, a crash at people's houses or something i'm not really getting like you guys have anything too structurally sound at first but you kind of build into that 
That's what I'm getting here for pile one. Um, and then this last one, what will you have in common? Two of wands, you're gonna love to travel. Adventure, a lot of adventure. And we have the seven of swords for what you have in common. Why is this? Four of cups, yeah. What you guys have in common is you will have a lot of exes from the past come back into your life when you, when you meet up again. When you meet this person, you will have a lot of your exes come back that you have rejected already. Um, this is another thing that you have in common. So not only will you love to travel, but you're also going to have to like fend off a lot of people that probably want your demise in this relationship. And I, I hate to say it, guys, and I am sorry, but these higher unions like this, this higher soul level union, I mean, it is what it is. It causes a lot of friction. So I feel like you guys are going to have this team effort. It's almost like you against the world is what it feels like. Like you two against the world. Because it feels like, um, yeah, people will, will try to come back, okay? Let's see why that is. The thinking woman. Could be the mom. The, okay, so what you're going to have in common is probably a dislike for the mother-in-law, okay? Um, I'm kind of getting that of, yeah. Mm. Yeah, somebody is quite envious of your caring connection, and I do feel it's a feminine energy. So that is something you guys will have in common, is having to like fend this off, but I am getting, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry, guys. Oh my God. But see, it's turbulent. Whatever this is, it's not good, and you're gonna have to fight it off, and I feel like this person will wanna fight for that. So you're gonna have somebody who has mom issues. Yep or baby mama drama. That's what I'm feeling. So anyway, pile one, I hope this helped you. And if it did, let me know, give it a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hello, pile two. Welcome to your reading, guys. Okay, so you're going to marry someone who is absolutely a protector. This is somebody who really wants children, and they actually might even be an advocate for children. Um, I'm getting the page of wands and the page of cups here. You guys are going to be very social. Everybody's going to know you as the couple who saves children. Now, this could be somebody who um, maybe you adopt or you foster. Maybe you even own a daycare. I don't know. It's something around children, though. Um, you guys are going to be known as the couple that saves lives, okay? That's just how you're going to be known. Um, also, too, with the Nine of Wands, you guys are going to live in a gated community. You're going to live somewhere kind of really nice, like really fancy, really nice. Um, and you need the protection, too, I'm hearing, because um, there are a lot of things. You could even both be in social work or something like that. There's just something about what you do for a living that causes a stir, you know, energetically. Um, you both you both are very much um, in love with your jobs and you love what you do. You heal, you heal people, but you save, I'm getting you rescue people, okay? Um, this is gonna be a very quiet marriage. It's not gonna be something that's loud and boastful. It's not out loud for the public to see. This is something very quiet, very secluded, um, and but yet you have a lot of friends. You have a lot of very warm friends. Oh, it's, the, it's just, it's incredible. You're the level of friends that you have with this person, it's just like, ugh, they're, they're like ride or die kind of friends, okay? I don't know how else to say that. Um, they're amazing friends. And these people are so proud of you for doing what you do. You definitely do something with them where you love children. Like, you're gonna have like a whole litter of kids, okay? If, if you don't have physical children with them because maybe you're a little bit older in age or something like that, then you're gonna adopt or something. It's like you're gonna be all the time around kids, it feels, uh, both of you. Both of you love kids equally. So I'm feeling when you meet this person, it will come out of left field. Like you will not be expecting to meet this person. We have the tower here indicating how you'll meet. You will meet them when everything seems to be going perfectly fine, everything's great in your life, and then boom, they come in like a bat out of hell and you have no idea where they came from. So I feel like it's one day you're just gonna meet and you're gonna just know. You're gonna, you're gonna absolutely know. Things are just gonna mysteriously fall into place for you to be with them, move in, marry each other, have kids. Like it's just, it's gonna be like the most perfect life and you're not even gonna understand how it happened. This is divinely guided for sure. And I definitely feel that because you guys are helping kids and it's like you, you are doing the Lord's work, okay? You both are. You're both helping children. Yeah, like the, that's your whole passion. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, there's something you do about 
children's books too, I'm getting. I'm getting that. Somebody could work on children's books here. Yeah. Okay, so another thing that I had um, come in was uh, this vulture energy. One of you protects and one of you um, scavenges. So there's this, I feel like it's you that's the vulture. <laughs> no offense, it's not a bad thing. Um, you have like all of these cool networks. Like you, you have a network. I'm getting vulture as in like you're a great network. You know how to put put the the right ideas out there for the world to to help you. I don't know how to word it. I'm not wording it right. I'm supposed to be just channeling, but I'm trying to explain it in a way that makes sense. Okay, so basically you know how to get people to help you. You know how to help people help your cause. And this person protects you doing that. So you're gonna, uh, this person is like, there is no person on the planet better for you than this one, okay, period. They could be a Virgo, um, a Pisces, and man, that's basically all I have. I don't really have anything else really so much here. Um, Hmm, Taurus maybe, yeah. But guys, this person is like the perfect the perfect person for you. This is like this is it. This is the one, okay? And it's going to be a match made in heaven, literally. It is a match made in heaven because spirit needs you guys to work on this mission together and it's something where you save children, okay? Yeah, definitely. Pile 2. Let's get some more cards here. The world the garden, the gate. Look at that little girl. Yeah, see, that's what I'm getting. I'm, I'm getting like you kind of rescue kids or something. I don't know. The temple path. What did I say? You're doing God's work. You are doing God's work with this person. Um, and we have the world here. But I, in this deck, the world is a little bit darker than in the other decks. Um, indicating that this bear, whoever this is, they could have had a really bad childhood. Um, I feel like... There was trauma involved maybe in both of your childhoods, and that's why you guys are such advocates for children now. But this bear, um, hold on. Hold on, the bear's kind of talking to me right now. Just a second, please. I'm getting something from the bear energy here. You guys, I actually feel there's something about the way that this bear looks. It's, this is an older relationship, I feel, or it's, it's, it kind of looks like this. I don't know. I'm getting the same. And here it is. Ten of Pentacles. This, this man, he has a beard. Okay. So whoever this is, they have a beard. Um, there's something about like the way you guys are so humble, like, this bear, I, I just, I absolutely love them. They're, 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 they could even be in their fifties. Okay. I don't know. There's, there's an age gap is what I'm getting. Okay. Could be several years age gap. I, I was getting that in a past life, this person was actually your dad or your grandfather. It, it, it's, it's, I know it's weird. I know, but that's not, you know, past lives or past lives. We, you know, it is how it is, guys. But yeah, this person was actually, it's a past life soulmate. Yeah. They could be into woodworking. They build something with their hands too. I'm getting like um, bird feeders. Yeah, bird feeders. They could have like a grandkid already or some, yeah. It's like you were a grandkid of theirs or something. I don't know. This is so weird. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be all creepy, but it's coming through like that. So... I'm getting like if you have a grandfather on the other side too, that this grandfather helped bring you two together, but this person embodies that energy of your grandpa, which is, I know, creepy, but it's it's beautiful in a way. It's it's um, a very protective, nurturing, especially if you lost your grandpa at a young age, like you kind of wanted that connection. That This person embodies that a lot, okay? That really protective, jolly, happy, loving person. This is just a well-rounded person. Yeah, absolutely. They're so gorgeous. This is such a beautiful energy. I love it, guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is get some letters from the, the letter jar. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just heard grandpa again. Okay, we got T. Especially if you lost someone when you were a teenager. 
Okay. Neat, Nate, Natalie, Nathan, Tax. Interesting. You guys, you know, I'm kind of getting this is a um um a, a nonprofit. That's that's what I feel. I feel I feel a nonprofit thing here with the tax. Um let's see. Gent, yeah, it's like an older, I feel like this person is like several years older than you, okay? Okay, we have tan, they could be really tan, maybe a darker skin tone than you. Um, they could be a Texan, oh, look at that, a Texan, they could be from Texas. Uh, let's see, yeah, like, I don't know why, but I'm, I'm feeling grandpa is so weird i know uh, they could work in it they're really good with computers maybe or you are because i feel like the vulture whoever the vulture is you're really good at networking and you get people to invest in your company in a nonprofit. this is this is like nonprofit, okay and i'm getting tight titan titan the titans i don't know why but i'm getting that x hmm Maybe you've gotten a call or text from this person recently. Their name could be Ian. Um, or you're expecting a call or text from them soon. Yeah, there's definitely an age difference here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, Xander. Tate. Yeah, I'm getting good night. So maybe you meet them at nighttime. Or they, or they always tell you good night, like every single night. They, that's one thing they always do. They call you to tell you good night. Yeah, this person is really um, stable, guys. They're really stable. Let's see, what do we have? I feel like you guys own a nonprofit. You will eventually do that. Yeah. And then that will lead to your Ten of Pentacles. You guys are going to actually be very wealthy, very wealthy in this lifetime, but you're, that's not even your point of doing it. You, you just want to do it because it makes you happy. I'm getting Nan, like Nana, Grandma, Grandpa. I don't know. This is weird. I don't know what that's about. Hopefully somebody could tell me down below because that's strange. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So let's, let's see if I get anything from the charms. Oh, we have, see, this is a soulmate, guys. This is somebody from a past life. That's what I'm getting with the infinity sign here. We've got Libra here. Whoa, both of you. Oh, two Libra, two, two um, scales. I'm telling you, you're both in justice, social justice. Like you're, you're, you're in the legal system or something like that maybe too. Uh, we have Sagittarius and then this little feather here. This person could be Native American or something. I was getting that with the bear. Like, that could be their heritage, maybe. This is so, you guys are just really cool. You're really cool people. You are so awesome. Um, everybody just wants to, like, love on you guys because you're just like that really friendly couple that, that, that they, everybody just wants to, like, have parties with you and, like, come over for barbecues. And that's, that's the type of, yeah, that's the type of vibe I get from you guys. So cute. Okay, let's get a couple more here and then I'm gonna move on. A couple more. Words from the word bag here. Here we go. We've got self-confidence. And then and then look at this bear. It, the bear kind of needs the vulture in a way to at first, because I think they've been through so much as a child, this bear, whoever that is. They have, you guys, I'm not kidding. They've been through like trauma, okay? Um, and it's almost like this vulture is gonna come in and help the bear remember like how beautiful it is. I'm especially getting that with the yellow here with their solar plexus. That's the place of confidence. And it's like, you're gonna help inspire this person to be their true bear self. Wow, beautiful. We got calculated. Yeah, didn't I say you're very methodical? You're very calculated. It's like you you know how to get people to help the cause or vice versa. Energy is energy, so I don't know which one it is, but communication, what did I say? You're so great at networking. Wow. 
Wow. Mustache. That's what I was getting. Beard and mustache. Look, this totally, whoever this is, reminds me of Ron Swanson. That is it in a nutshell. I'm seeing Ron Swanson. You have got to go look up Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreation. That's what I'm getting. This, this person could look like that, or that's just their personality. They have a beard and mustache. Yeah, for sure. And they're outgoing. Oh, nice, guys. They're really sweet. And this person loves to make friends. See, that's what I'm getting is you guys have an amazing time making friends. It's be a lot of friends. Class clown. They're hilarious. They're hysterical. It's just that you have to bring them out of their shell at first. It's, it's like this person could be actually kind of burly, too. I don't know. I'm getting like a tall, tall man with like really, really dark arm hair and just like, like a lot of hair. A very hairy person for some of you. That's, that's going to resonate. But yeah, um... Yeah, okay, let's see if I, I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it, guys. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this reading helped you. And if you want a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Guys, 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 pile three. I cannot contain my excitement. I can't, I can't. I was like, I have to, I have to fucking record. I can't, I can't. I just cannot with this reading. I'm going to cry. You guys know that I'm a witch, and this is a witchy crew, you guys. You're both psychics. Like, you are both so psychic. It's crazy. So, listen. This card, I was about to shit my pants when I asked what you'll have in common, the high priestess. I was like, spirit, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming through. This is going to be your person. One of you is a moth, one of you is an owl, and you are both so mystical. It is going to blow your fucking mind how this person even exists. This is like, this is not only a match made in heaven, this is a match made for the heavens. This is like made for heaven to watch and, and discover from and learn from. You're going to learn from each other. Like you are both, oh my God it's just it's powerful i mean it's just it's almost too much okay so what do i have here you're gonna meet online i really feel you're gonna meet online you're gonna meet when you're doing really well in business okay and like starting your own business maybe doing something where you're getting seen recognized on social media i feel and i do feel it's on social media with the star next to it uh your marriage it's going to be filled with like the coolest esoteric wisdom and like dark sayings and like these really cool like just, it's going to be a lot of dark arts, okay? And I'm not saying, like, evil. I mean dark as in, like, hidden. Like, things that you're going to learn together. It's so esoteric. This whole marriage is going to be founded on mysticism and magic and the occult. And, oh, my God, it's amazing. This is, like, this is, the, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. And your marriage, what you'll love about it is how happy this person makes you. And there's going to be so much celebrating and, like, discovering cool parts about each other and discovering cool ideas about, like, how you can manifest better and what spell you should do. And, like, it's just so, so metaphysical. It'll blow your mind. It's you and another person. It's you, completely mirrored back to you. This person could literally be a twin flame union. I haven't said that for any of the other readings. I feel like this one is a twin flame. That's what I feel. Now, that's not up to me. You know the drill. I can't confirm nor deny twin flames because spirit doesn't allow me to do that. But you are both two peas in a pod, okay? You're both air sign. It could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel... You just, you're, the way you communicate with each other, it blows people out of the water. Like any exes you've ever had, nah, you won't even remember them. And it's like, it's just, it's shocking to me how in sync you guys are at all times. This is definitely a telepathic. This is, this is 100% telepathic. Absolutely. Um, you might even be far distanced from this person right now, but when you meet online, which I feel you're going to meet through the internet. When you do, you're going to be like, uh, that's my person. That's it. I know that's them. They're just like sitting watching you. Cause I'm seeing this fruit fly on my bag here and it's like, they're staring at you. So if you do something spiritual online, keep going. That is how you're going to meet your match. Okay. 
Um, and where will you live? This one was really cool. I was getting that you're going to live in like an RV or some sort of like, um, 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 like a, what is a, you know, like a, just something off the grid or something like totally different than, than mainstream. You're not going to live in like a normal home, like a normal <laughs> couple. I don't know. You're just, you're not normal. Okay. If you're not normal, there's nothing about you two that is normal. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. You are not normal. You are absolutely made for each other. It's like people are going to see you and they're, they're going to be like, oh my God, how, how did, how did that happen? <laughs> It's like people are going to see you two together and they're going to be like, yeah, I never thought pile three would be with anybody besides the moth. They ha this is, it's just duh. It's duh. Everybody's going to notice that you guys were just two peas in a pod waiting to meet each other. Um, and again, with the world, I am getting worldwide web. So I definitely feel you're going to meet online. Okay. Um, wow. I didn't even notice. You guys, I, I flipped these cards and I got so excited about it that I didn't even stop to like take a breath. I just, I'm so pumped. <laughs> I can't believe people like you exist. I love it. Oh my God, this is gonna be an amazing marriage. It really is. Um, you know, can I be honest? Pile three, I don't even think you guys maybe want kids. Maybe you don't have kids. I'm not seeing kids really in the spread right now. Um, but it's just like, I think you two are okay with that. If you do have kids, they're going to be very warm and welcoming to bring them on, like, as their own. I'm just telling you that right now. Like, absolutely. Like, this person, they know that you're, like, the one for them and vice versa. But if you don't have kids, um, I don't think that you're going to push that. Yeah, you're not, you're just going to live life, I think, for a while and then maybe have kids. But, yeah, you're just, there's so much to learn about one another that you're not going to have that need or that yearn, you know, you know what I mean? Um, there's just so much to learn and discover about each other and about the mysteries. Yeah. If, if I can, if I can give it one word, the mysteries of the universe is what you guys are going to discover together. You are equally compatible. Like you are equally invested in the occult. You are equally psychic. You are, e it's just so freaking cool. You're both gifted in your own ways, but you bring out those gifts. They heighten around each other. It's, it's wild. It's wild. Also, too, there could be a lot of travel um, with you guys. But there's something really, like, uh, off the grid or something. Like, you don't live in normal communities. You live, like, in an RV or, like, a, a tiny house or whatever, you know? I don't know. You could live in, like, the country. Yeah, I'm definitely getting country or... And, you know, even in like a commune or something. I don't know. I'm feeling like you guys could live with other people. Yeah. Just so, it's so cool. This is such a cool pile. This is my favorite by far. I love it so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some letters. Let's get some letters to see if I can pick up on their name or initials maybe. Where you'll meet. Something like that. You guys are just so psychic. It's crazy. Jory, I don't know why that, J, uh, Larry, what do I see here? Laura, Ray, oh, you guys, it's, it's a match, it's a match, oh, it's a match made in heaven, Yale, uh, Junior, let's see, um, these are actually not the best letters ever, these are pretty bad, we got AJ, Raj, um, rally. Mm, okay. No, they're not that great. Let's throw some more. We got, oh my guys, guys, look at this. We got halo. You're so divine. And so, yo, you're, I told you, you were sent from heaven. I told you, I told you. Um, we got HR, so maybe one of you works in HR or something, or maybe you did it one time, I don't know. Uh, let's see, I don't know why that came out. Airy, didn't I say you're both air signs? You could be, you could be, I mean, you don't have to, but there's just a lot of communication. There's a lot of communication and a lot of expansive thought, like, okay, and then I got law here as well. One of you is like really experienced in law. Um, let's see. Oh, oh my God. Oh my, guys, didn't I say how? Like how? Like, 
did I say that? I said, how, how, how are these two even made? Stop, I did, I did, I said that. Yes, I did. And then we have Joy, you guys, I'm telling you, didn't I say they're gonna make you so fucking happy? Like, you just, it's, oh my God. It's so great. It's so great. It's so great. It's so great. I love it. I love it. They could have like really cool hair. You love their hair. Okay. You love, love, love their hair. Whatever they do. It's like amazing. You love it. It's really different. I'm getting with the moth. Could they could have blonde hair or long hair or something, but you're just, you're going to fucking love it. You're going to love it. Okay. You love everything about this person. Um, what else do we have? Jar? Hmm. They could have been in the military, maybe. Um, war. Um, sorry, do we have anything else? Raw. Wow. Yeah. See, that's what they're going to love about you. It's like, you are so different than anybody they've ever met in their life. Okay. They're very jolly. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the name Holly as well. So we have Joy, Jolly, Holly. It's, it, it's, oh my God. Holy. <laughs> how, how did I not see it? <laughs> how did I, not? I told you, I freaking called it guys. They, they love how raw you are and vulnerable too. Okay. This is something they want to hold on to forever. Like this is, this is it. Like this is your person. Yeah, yeah, you'll never go back. This is like, this is them. Um, I'm hearing year, so it could be within a year, okay? Within a year that you meet this person, or maybe by the end of this year. Let's see, anything else? Do we have anything? I cannot believe I missed Holy. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know, but I'm getting the Quran for some reason. Your person could really into be into like the holy texts, maybe. There's just a lot of secrets that you guys are uncovering together. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm so getting eye of Horus here. Oh my God. You guys are woke. Liddy like a titty, your third eye. Oof. Could meet this person in, they could live in Los Angeles. They could live in Louisiana. Um, Honduras, maybe. Uh, let's see. Where could they? Rhode Island, Hawaii, Ohio. Oh, sorry guys, sorry. Um, yeah, okay, that's, so that's all I have. Now let's see about some words in the word bag. Oh my God, this is so fun. I love you guys so much. This is like my favorite. Don't tell any other piles. <laughs> okay, let's see. Sweet. Oh, this is sweet. I love it. My heart. I feel my heart opening right now. Overly kind. Look, we have sweet and kind. Oh, they're going to be so nice. They're going to be so nice. Oh, this person. My heart. I'm in love. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe you have sweet and overly kind. You're both that way. Like one of you is sweet and one of you is overly kind. So it's like a match made in heaven. Peaceful. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, you'll love to see it. You'll love to see it in a marriage reading. Got talented. See, this person sees you online doing something, getting fame or recognition for something. We have hands. Hmm. Talented hands. Maybe you're a tarot reader too. I don't know. But your hands are talented. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, we have Aries. Oh, shit. Oh, she. There it is. That fire, honey. Mm. And then we have January. So, yeah. Okay, so towards the end of the year or January, I feel like you guys will meet this person. November, December, or January. Wow. What? Okay. Uh, I want some charms. You guys, I love you. I just think you're adorable oh my god star look i'm getting the pentagram like i'm not kidding i'm getting i'm getting you guys are into magic like freaking magical beings okay you're magical and you both have 
these leaves here. What, what the hell is that for? I don't know. But you both... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe when the seasons change, because then I'm getting the snow here too for, again, winter. So you might meet them in winter or fall, okay? We've got... Uh, I was getting Scorpio and Pisces there. This horse. This horse. Something about horses. You guys could really love horses. Maybe they own horses, or maybe in your light, in your marriage, you will own a horse. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, I don't know. This is such a cool reading. And then we have um, the 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 helm, the the whatever this is called. I don't know what that's called. I'm trying to get messages from this. What am I getting with this? If you guys have ever written about horses or like ships. I feel like your ships are coming in, but I'm, I'm getting that there's more to that. There's like, you're going to manifest a boat or something or manifest a horse. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what is this? Oh my God, it's an angel. It's an angel. Look, it's an angel. Can you, oh, oops, sorry. And then, yeah, you guys are going to be super wealthy. Like you guys are going to be super wealthy. Okay. Yeah. You're going to get known for something and this person will too. Yeah, there's Pisces for sure. A fish. We got a Taurus. We got a butterfly. I don't know why. We have a king and queen. Yes. This is very much your twin flame. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. And then we have, what is this? I don't know. That's something. Then we have a tree. The crab. Cancer. And then um, they could be from Turkey, maybe. There's the sun and star. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This is powerful. This is, this is very powerful. And it, because it's my favorite, I'm going to give you a little bit more. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm not done. No, 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 no. I feel you deserve it. I feel this is my thanks to you for existing. So let's get some more. Spirit, to me into pile three. What is it their love life is going to be like? Oh, oh my God. I just heard something really, really, really wow. I heard, I heard all over the place. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All over the place, everywhere, all over the house, all over the world, everywhere. Yeah. Oh, she, you saw it. You saw it live time. I know you did. I know you fucking saw it. I said, you know what I mean? That's going to be everywhere. I mean, you're going to do it in the train. You're going to do it on a plane. You're going to do it everywhere. Wow. Okay. You're just, you're, you are two best friends. Like there's no one better on the planet. Who is this person? Goddess of the moon. You can't, you, I'm just, I'm done. The mysticism here is like, Speaking of train, I'm about to shit my pants. There's a train coming. There's going to be so much magic in this connection, guys. There's going to be moments like that all over. Like you say something and boom, it manifests like that. You, you, it's just, you're, you're not going to even understand reality. Like you guys are glitching out the matrix. No, you're breaking the whole thing. That's what you're doing. So we have goddess of the moon here. Yeah. They're, they're a goddess. They're, they're the moon. They are just, they're everything. Oh, very mystical. I can't believe there's a train coming by. Well, I mean, it's not that unheard of. It's, I mean, I live on a train track, so I mean, <laughs> but I mean, like, I can't believe the timing of that. Tell me about hands. I can't, I cannot with this reading. Hands, there's something about your hands. You get seen for your hands. Your hands are talented. <laughs> okay, I don't know, I don't know. Something about the way you make money. You make money with your hands? Okay, I don't know, I don't need to know. You do you, boo. And then we have deceit, again with money in hands. Look at that, I'm not seeing the deceit card as a bad thing. I'm seeing like money in hands, money in hands. There's something about you too will be wealthy, like being able to like manifest shit into thin, out of thin air. Wow, this is a magician, okay? This absolutely is a magician, a very, very powerful magician, and you are the same. Blossoming abundance, what did I say? What did I say? 
Money, 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 money. Money. There's so much money here. Oh, look at the owl. Is that an owl? Oh my God, that's an owl. It is. There's an owl right there. Pile three. Pile three. Oh my God. Oh my God. And you help the community with this. Like you guys are so into the arts. Yeah. You're into the arts. Okay. For sure. For sure. For sure. You do some magic every day. This person is magic. You are magic. Y'all create magic. Okay. <laughs> like, whoa. Wow. Wow. I'm hearing your sex life is magic. It's magic. It's just magic. Oh my, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm literally fucking done. I'm done. I'm scaring myself now. I am in your pa It's so powerful. I'm scaring myself. Guys, I, you can't make this shit up. It's magic. It's magic. This is magic. Before I go, I want a little bit more. Maybe about uh, how they'll meet. Like, uh, what, what, what should they know? What should Pile 3 know to get to their person? What should they know? What should they do? What energy should they embody right now? Nine of Swords. Yeah, there's a fear of this person, how fast they're coming in. I'm getting with the, you hear the train? The Eight of Wands. I'm, feel, I'm feeling like you guys are actually up at night hearing this person telepathically tell you stuff. Wow, this is your divine counterpart. Absolutely. fucking -lutely. And they're telling you things in at night in telepathy oh oh i'm i'm hearing i'm hearing that this emperor is you you see how he's looking over to the side he's like wanting to comfort this woman this person this person really wants to come in and be your knight in shining armor wow definitely aries again with the emperor any other message? Five of Cups. This person knows that you're sad too. You miss them or like you're, you're feeling the energy. You have to feel the energy. There's no way you can't feel this. There's absolutely no way in hell that you don't feel this. Eight of Cups. You might have even left them behind or they've left you. Um, they want to come back, I think, and tell you something. What do they want to say? Hmm. They're afraid of your rejection right now. So I think spirit's kind of t tuning, separating you two right now. Yeah, but this person spies on you. I got it with the fruit fly. Like this person's watching you. Definitely, definitely, yeah. They're watching you because you are putting up boundaries and you're not letting them come in. You're feeling like they're very toxic right now. Um, and so they're not coming in just yet, but I really am getting that's coming soon. It's gonna blow your mind, honey. This person wants you everywhere. Oh my God, this is, it's, is it warm or is it just me? Oh my God, it is, oh, I'm, it's 22 minutes. I need to shut up and get done with this reading. Okay, let's see, do we have anything else? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a spiritual thing. It's like 1000% meant to be. It is guided. It is divine. It is yours. It is, this person is for you. This is the fucking real deal, man. This is it. This is it. I'm so happy. I got to read for you guys. If you want a personal with me, I would love, I'd be honored to read for you. So check out all the information in the description, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading, guys. I want to just tell you right off the bat that this probably will not resonate with everyone. This is definitely a marriage that either already happened or is ending in divorce. So go choose a different pile if that's not your message because this one is really tumultuous, actually. Um, and look, I don't sugarcoat shit on my channel. Like, it's just not going to happen. Uh, I need to be able to sleep at night. So I'm telling you right now, this, this connection is really... Um, it's frictional. There's a lot of friction, a lot of pain. Um, you're both coming through as like these animals that are almost wounded and they have, this one has stripes, right? A raccoon has stripes, black and white, but then the cheetah is spotted as well. So there's like a lot of wounds, a lot of triggering, a lot of child abandonment issues that come to the surface in this marriage. Um, and so, you know, if it's not your message, go, go choose something else. But I feel this one will actually end in divorce. So I feel like you probably are already married or you've already been married once before. So 
just take it or leave it guys if it is your message great but i feel like the all tied up here in the middle is about you uh feeling bound to this marriage because i feel it's karmic i feel this is karmic so you might have two marriages in your lifetime but this one karmic definitely um and it's like you guys don't feel you can actually see eye to eye and you can't speak to one another very well it's like there's a miscommunication here what i am feeling though is one of you might be like an earth sign the other could be a fire sign but i'm also getting that this cheetah is the one that constantly tries to rush in and save the raccoon but the raccoon doesn't want to have it see how the raccoon's facing this way and the cheetah's sprinting that way I feel one of you tries so, so, so much harder than the other party. One of you tries to like make it work when it's not meant to work. It was meant for karma. So this is definitely a karmic marriage. And this is something where you pay off a lot of karmic debt so that you can ultimately be with the one you're supposed to be with because it's not this one. Okay. It's definitely not pile four. It's not this one. Um, you're actually going to meet at a time when you're manifesting a lot into your world and you're going to hold off though on giving a lot away. You're not going to feel like sharing your secrets with a lot of people. You're going to feel very reserved with the four of pentacles, but yet things are still coming in. And what's, what's great here is like, there's some sort of transition in your life. Um, and you hold on to things tighter than you normally would. And because of that, you actually manifest more. It's almost like the universe blesses you with more when you meet this person. This person could be like a shady character. I'm getting with the raccoon. It definitely feels like that. Um, it feels like they meet you and, of course, want you because you're doing so well. This kind of screams narcissistic and codependent to me. Okay? But one thing I am getting, though, is that you are holding on at first when you meet you're both kind of holding on to your cards. You're not, you're holding it close to your chest. You're not telling each other a lot of things. Um, and the magician is kind of a sneaky energy. So I'm getting, there's a lot of secrets being held. Uh, in, in the beginning, you neither one trust each other. Not very much. Nope. And again, because it's karmic and it's supposed to happen that way. So now we have, what will your marriage be like? It will be full of a lot of chaos and a lot of turmoil. Um, the nine of cups in reverse tells me you will not be very happy. No. Um, and the five of wands, there's like a lot of maybe even competition at first. Like you might have to actually fend off people that this person has an eye for at first um, and vice versa. Maybe they do that with you as well. But um, again, that's karma. This is very karmic. Uh, yeah, very karmic. But what you will love about the marriage, though, is that it's slow and steady. It's like you, you, I feel it's tangible. Things are tangible. Like you definitely have, a, you, you own a home with this person. You have like a car and a, and a job and like you build a house and a life together. Okay. You do, uh, you do actually do that. Um, and it gives you that stability. you it's very rock solid in that there's material gain here. Okay. It's like, you don't, you don't have to wonder where your food will come from. You don't, you, you have all the luxuries of life, right? Of the 3d world, but you don't enjoy the, there's no passion and there's no love. There's no humility. There's no humor. There's no joy. It's not, it's not anything like that. So again, if this is not your reading guys, go choose a different one. But, um, yeah, what you will love though, is that there's definitely money to be had. Like you get to have a, a lavish lifestyle. I feel, I feel you get to have, you know, money and, and, and you get to do what you want when you want, but, but there's no emotional compatibility, you know? Um, I also feel that the raccoon almost feels threatened by the cheetah at all times. You notice how the raccoon is it's shielded. It's shielding itself in a way um, because the cheetah is not compatible with the raccoon. You guys are just not compatible. This, this marriage is just not compatible. Um, and it was never meant to be. This was definitely for karmic lessons. Okay. So now we have, where will you live? So wherever you live, it's going to be somewhere where you take time to really put effort and time and energy into making it a perfect place. It's very presentable. It looks nice, smells nice. It's like a typical home, I feel. But again, with the queen of cups, it's like, you're the only one trying, or there's only one party trying, whether it's you or them, you know, one, one of you makes it a perfect, beautiful, flowery home, beautiful. But on the inside, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like every day. This is what you have in common, the tower. One of you builds it up, the other brings it down. Build it up, bring it down. Build it up, bring it down. And this is karma. It's because you have a karmic soul lesson to learn. Um, and you came into this world in this lifetime in order to learn karmic lessons from this person. Um, not from this person, but just from a lack of love in general, from a lack of kindness, a lack of humility. So you actually came here to learn what it's like to know what love is not so you can learn what love is. 
Um, yeah, so this marriage, I'm hoping that for most of you, it's already over. I, I really do. Um, or I hope that if you're in it right now, you're about to get out. But if this is resonating with you and it feels like in your soul, this might be right. You have a marriage coming up that is technically destined to fail, but it is because it's a karmic one. Um, so you will marry somebody who's very shielded and guarded and never really opens up to you. They don't tell you what they want to tell you. They don't, they don't. And, and, and I, I think it's just a fear of that they have that you will judge them or um, eat them, <laughs> which, you know, I know that's not, you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, there's a, 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 a prey, you know, there's a predator and prey kind of thing going on here. This person always feels weak in your presence. They always feel like you're going to take and overpower them. I feel the fire sign here. If you're a fire sign, they're, they're afraid of that or an air sign. They're afraid of you like hurting them. So they never really open up. This person never really opens up and you're always the one fighting continually for this connection. So let's get some letters here. Let's get some letters. Tile four. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing lone, like lonely, lonely here. Lonely, you will feel, oh my God, alone. You will feel alone a lot of times. Their name could start with a T. Uh, maybe Tallahassee, um, halt. Yeah, there will be an end to this. There will be a there will be an end to this marriage. Um, yeah, because I think that you have an. There's like another. It's not this one is not your forever person. I feel. Um, let's see, fall, fall. You could have already met them in the fall, or maybe you're ending a divorce in in the fall. Um, this person could be really tall, or you could as well. Um, they could have financial problems. Okay. I'm kind of getting that. I feel like they took out a loan or right, you call each other hun or something. Um, we got Al, Alabama. All. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, there's the letter D. I didn't even see that. Um, Detroit, maybe. I don't know. That's coming in near Detroit. Honolulu, Tallahassee. Um, let's see. Um, Leo, Leon, they could be a Leo. Leon, Heather, getting a Heather here. Heat, it's just maybe really hot where you guys live. Um, it's, it's just, it's a heated, like there's a lot of heated arguments in this one. Um, yeah, you're just, you're just, yeah, you're, you're really angry at each other a lot. Okay. A lot in this, in this pile. Um, Don. Oh my God. I made the joke about, they think that you're going to eat them. And there's the word eat. That's funny. Um, no, no, really. I, they, this is like a predator and prey kind of, I don't know why, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that. Um, and then two, I'm getting friends. Like you guys, you have to like, when you first date, it's almost like you guys never get out of friend zone or something. Like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to say what I'm seeing. It's like, yeah. You never feel loved by this person. You never truly feel loved. Um, and it's because you have karma to pay off, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I'm getting loan as well. Like you have debt to pay off, loan. Yeah, mm-hmm, from a past life, definitely. Um, do I have anything else? Got the name Diane. Uh, Tony. Dallas. Dale, Tina, Christina, yeah, what did I say? Yeah, they hold it, they hold it close to their chest, like, they don't, they don't really ever let you in, they don't ever let you in, that's, you know, and I'm getting the name Anne as well, Aunt Frank, um, yeah, they, they don't let you in. Okay, I don't know why. Um, yeah, I'm getting fleeting. Like your feelings fleet, fleet, flee. Is that the word? Fleeting. They're fleeting feelings. Yeah. Um, 
yeah, okay, so that's what I got for you. And then let's see if I have any words from the word bag here about this connection. Pile four, please, Barrett. Oops, sorry I keep bumping that, guys. Concerts. Okay, yeah, so I'm really getting, like, you're going to have a nice, like, you're going to get to go out and do things and have fun and stuff like that, but it's it's not yeah it's not like it's your best friend you know it doesn't feel like it's just never fully fi fulfilling you um we have talented here maybe you're into the musical arts poet wow you could be a writer songwriter poet you're really talented okay you need to get your work out there i'm just saying you really do you really do i feel like the cheetah helped inspire this raccoon to do things with their life but this raccoon never really gave the cheetah a shot that's that's what it feels like we've got aquarius here yeah definitely definitely the raccoon coming through a lot of boundaries a lot of boundaries around this raccoon we have playful here oh that's nice i like that i like i like i like that it it feels like but i am gonna say you definitely can get this person to like open up when it comes playfully like they laugh a lot and stuff but this they don't really go deep into their emotions okay you will not find that with this person they kind of keep it surface level i'm feeling protective what did i say they're very protective of themselves and they don't let anybody in they, they might not even let their friends in though so don't take it don't take it personally we have butterfly here i feel this is the other party like a social butterfly somebody who really just wants to be like the life of the party but and, and I'll, I'm kind of getting to with the raccoon, like this is also the butterfly. There is a, the raccoon does have a social, um, like a social standing, like um, they have like a lot of friends maybe, but, but I'm not getting that they don't let anybody in. Like they don't let anybody know what they're really feeling. You can't be in a relationship with somebody like that. I and mean, we have original. Yeah, original. Okay, that's what I'm getting. It's like, this is your first marriage. I feel this is your first yeah it's like the original person it's like your first person you fall in love with they feel um let's get some charms or it's if it's not your first person you fall in love with it's definitely um yeah your first marriage yeah that's for sure okay uh we have leo again here oh here's the music yeah so if you guys are really musical you know you should you should really put your music out there i think the world would love to see that and then we have the what is this the crab cancer okay the lobster i don't know <laughs> leo the lion yeah i feel there's just a lot of pride and a lot of ego in this connection we have the camel yeah it even could be the like emotional and physical neglect as well i'm getting with the camel like a dry spell like you you and this person might not ever f physically be intimate like anymore or something yeah wow guys look at this mermaid i don't know if you can see it you probably can't but she's got her back turned and as you flip it over her back is still turned your back is turned to this person and their back is turned to you wow no you don't you're not in love this is not a loving marriage that definitely not no no i'm sorry i would have loved to be able to tell you so but i can't i cannot do that so yeah i hope that this reading helped you guys if you want a personal with me all the information is in the description i'll talk to you later Bye bye hello kyle five this might be the most beautiful of all the readings well i i did like one in particular but this one is just so poetic this is coming full circle. Who you're about to marry is someone that has really been like triggered by people their whole life. Like they've always felt that they were like a target. They've always been bullied. Like this person has just consistently come across some really shady characters all the time. And for you, I had three animal spirit cards, which is strange. All the others had two. And yours came with the horse, okay? Which is very indicative of a freedom-loving person. You're both going to come together. I'm noticing the gazelle and the crow are both kind of skittish. They have a fear of prey, right? The crow is really loud and vocalizes it, but the gazelle doesn't have much chance to. So I feel like both of you are going to have this, like, this history of being persecuted by a lot of people a lot of people and this is like a whole thing it's like your whole life it's happened um and it's just because you maybe you've just been both different you're both black sheep maybe i don't know but you've just been different and 
one of you was a little bit more vocal about it and probably ended up in trouble because of that, while the other was just more submissive and cried a lot. And it was, it was more sad. This person was just more giving and nurturing and, and empathic. And I'm noticing the gazelle, it's almost like he's crying, um, while the other was a crow and kind of turned into a little bit of a hardened, um, detached kind of energy. Uh, very strategic, very, I'm not going to say deceitful, but like, keeping definitely keeping to themselves and keeping their emotions in check so this person ended up actually becoming a crow because everybody else was nasty to them um and it, it really actually kind of it's funny because i i just said became a crow like it sounds like um i don't know if you've ever seen the show uh, sons of anarchy but that kind of reminds me of this person um the lead character i can't remember his name what was his name Jax teller oh my god Jax Teller, that is your person, okay? Your person is like that. They have just been like, just, they've had to take on so much, but they didn't ask for it. Your person has not asked to be the leader that they are. And so they've kind of become rigid, a little bit secluded. And um, while you, you never really lost that. You never really, whoever the gazelle is, which I'm assuming is you, I hope. Yeah, I feel like it is you. Um, you've never really lost that you your name even could start with a g i'm I don't, i'm getting a, a g name you never lost that and um they they kind of didn't either but it's just way more hidden okay it's way more hidden so you're both going to come together and this union is actually going to lead you both to freedom like it's gonna you're gonna feel so free to be yourselves around one another that it's gonna just blow your mind it's gonna be something neither of you have ever had it's gonna make all of that pain worth it okay i promise it will make all of it worth it so right here we have how you'll meet you guys will actually be meeting at a time when your life is really starting to take off like you're starting to discover who you really are. You're both learning that you're quite empathic. Um, you're gonna meet when things are looking good. Celebration, happy times. Um, life is finally starting to come around for you. Um, hold on. Side note, one of you could actually be sick when you meet the other, um, like going through a cold or a strep throat or something, because I'm just getting like a weird tingly thing in my throat and um, that's just a side note for someone, but you might actually be sick when you meet, okay? Hmm, strange. But uh, overall, though, your life seems to be actually getting better, and you start to be, uh, both of you um, are mirroring each other in that you're expressing your vulnerabilities, and so are they. They're bo you're both coming to each other, um, wanting and willing to be emotionally vulnerable in love, okay? So that's great. That's a great sign because this crow uh, it was not like that always. It was not always like that. So this is really nice. You see their shifting of energy here, and then that's when you two meet. Okay, so the marriage. We have, how will the marriage be? And it's the lovers. Like, this is just yin and yang. You know that you two are meant for each other. There's no other person that you want to be with. This is it. Um, and, and there's so much healing that takes place because you both have been, like, you've never been accepted in the world, in, in humanity, ever. Society has basically blocked both of you out. And you're just gonna find like, what? There was nothing wrong with me all this time? You're just, you're gonna see that like, there was nothing wrong with you. There was nothing wrong with you. There's gonna be so much freedom too to explore sexuality in this connection as well. So if that's something that you never really had, like maybe you had to be a bit more um, like celibate or, you know, and maybe they were a bit more promiscuous or whatever, you're going to actually have this really nice balance in that you're going to be able to ex uh, explore your sexuality and your sensuality. Um, and you're going to feel very secure in doing so with this person because they're going to make you feel safe about it. They're going to make you feel very safe in doing so. A lot of freedom. This the pile five is all about freedom. Whoa. And I just saw a hawk. I actually, was that a crow? I just, I, I just saw some black bird outside my window. Um, just freedom and and this bird was flying just gliding like it's just gonna be so much freedom there's so much freedom to be who you want to be with this person it's really nice so we have what you'll love about it with the emperor here so what you're gonna really love is that this person wants to take charge of their life you're gonna love that you want to heal and they want to heal equally in fact the next card out is where will you live but since it's next to the emperor here i'm getting that you're gonna both want to heal because temperance and the star are both cards of healing so you're both going to equally want to heal yourselves and the connection, okay, at all times. Like, that's your top priority, is to be each other's best friend. Um, and look how many major arcana we have, by the way, in a row. Four major arcana, it's a big deal. This is, like, your soulmate. This is the one for you. 
Um, and then, um, hold on, there was one more I was getting with this, um, the emperor, what you'll love about it. Yeah, yeah, that it's like, they, they, they just, they take control of their life, and they don't let things get to them for too long. Like, this person is one that lets bygones be bygones, okay? They, they just, when, when you've offended them, or they've offended you, it's just, you just mutually agree, it's like, okay, I know you didn't mean bad by it, so let's forgive each other. And then, there's so much forgiveness in this connection. It's a very sturdy, steady connection. You're gonna love it. You're gonna, it's gonna be the bee's needs, okay? So we have over here where you will live. I'm actually getting that um, you might live by a body of water, but wherever you live, it's going to be probably your primary domain. Like it, I'm, what I'm getting is like you'll meet, what I'm trying to say is you might only have one house. You may only ever live in one home because with this being major arcana, I'm kind of feeling like it's going to be like, that's it. That's your person and that's your home. And then you just build on that for like ever is kind of what I'm feeling here. The other piles are a couple of them that wanted to travel. They're not, not you guys. I'm feeling you will very much have one home and it will just be like your oasis, your garden of Eden. Like you will love where you live. Okay. Um, it could, I mean, look at this. It's almost like the same scene. This, you know, there could even be water, like a pond where you're moving to. Yeah, a mountain range too. Something about the way you guys communicate, because I'm getting something with my throat chakra again and I just dropped that card. Oh crap. Um, the star card just fell on the floor. So something about the way you communicate, because my throat is going, it really hurts right now. It's really sore. And I feel like that's what's going to heal the most in this marriage is the way you guys communicate, not only to each other, but to, to everyone. Because your bottom, bottom of the deck energy was five of swords. This is what you guys have experienced your whole life. And this is what you have in common. Over here, we have the eight of cups and this, this five of swords. You have in common um, walking away from like hundreds of people in your life, like hundreds of people that is something you both have in common and it's like you're both just getting so wore out by doing that you're like is there really anybody for me am i ever going to have someone and when you start to actually feel okay within yourself with the four of wands and the, the lovers when you start to feel okay within yourself that's when this person comes in they start giving you the emotion that you never had in other connections you never had an emotional partner like this um even though overall the emperor is what you're going to love it they're not coming across as like a brute they're not not some dictator. This is somebody who cares genuinely about your feelings and who wants to hear you and what you have to say. They're very much whole. They're very uh, put together, okay? But you're at first going to need to, I think, share your story with them, you know? You're going to need to talk about, like, what you've gone through, too. And and they're going to slowly warm up to you. And it, it might not even be slow. It's probably going to be right away that they know that you're the one. Um, we do have Gemini, Aries, and Saggy here. So that could be, and Aquarius as well. So that could that could be a message for you. All right, let's see. Um, let's get some letters from the letter jar here. I just heard Christopher. <gasps> Stop. Oh, my. No. You guys, stop, stop. Do you see this? Do you see that? That's how Jax Teller spells his name. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Jax Teller in The Sons of Anarchy. You guys, you guys, stop it right now. His real name was Jackson, I think. So yeah, you might want to go look at that show, okay? Whoa, didn't I say deceit? I said, well, it's not deceitful. It's just that they hold on to things. And there's the word lie. So they just, you know, they don't, they don't share everything at first, okay? That is what I'm kind of getting from them. But you will um, be able, with your gentleness, you'll be able to bring them into a place of safety where they can be free to be themselves. Like, you're going to really heal this person. I cannot believe that came out, though. Wow. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Um, then we have, okay, let's get a, one more. <gasps> Didn't I say a G name? Yeah, I feel like your name starts with a G or theirs does. So, you know, keep that, keep that in your mind's eye. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to read these letters. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay. Um, also too, I was getting, you're going to have children because I was like, at first when I picked up two cards for everybody. You guys got the third. I'm feeling like you're going to very much have like a, 
a very free spirited child. Okay. And it feels like a girl. I, I am getting that with the braids here. I feel like you're going to have a baby girl. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting that. Uh, so we have a girl here. You're going to have children with this person. Um, you could live in California. Maybe they lived there at one time. They might not anymore. When you meet them, they, they probably have left or something. Um, we have almost enough to spell Jeep. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, um, yeah, I don't know. I was getting like Giselle or I don't know. I don't know what I was getting earlier. But I was definitely getting an, a G name. So we have Rail. I don't know. CJ. Um, let's see, guys. What do you see? I can, I'm still, I'm, I'm shook about the Jack thing. Like, <laughs> I cannot believe that happened. Um, Reese. Lyra, I don't know, I don't know. I'm getting something IRA, IRA maybe. They're really good at like stocks and IRA or whatever all that is, I don't know. She, I don't know. Um, yeah, these are really horrible letters actually now that I look at them. So let me know if you see anything, okay? Leave it in the description for somebody else if you don't, or in the, uh, in the comments, let somebody know. All right, let's see what do we have for your letter, your words from the word bag. Let's see. Guys, I'm still blown away. You have got to go check out Jax Teller, okay? Jax Teller on Sons of Anarchy. Your person could really look like that. Maybe they have long hair or something. Oh, I'm hearing that. I don't want to be alone. Something, something, something. Hold on. Uh, it's, um, who sings that? I don't I, it's going to come to me, I hope. Um, I'm scared of the unknown. I want to say Post Malone, but I don't know. Okay, we have Colorful here. Yeah, see, you're going to have a child that's like really just vibrant, okay? A really healthy, active baby girl, I feel very much so. Yeah, um, yeah, you guys, it's just going to be such a great, it's going to be so great. You're going to discover so many things about one another and help heal each other. It's, it's going to be such a healing relationship. We have Aries here. So I don't know also too, maybe they were a singer or something. Cause I was just singing and I'm like, why, why was I singing? Sports lover. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look at that. We have play hard to get here. Look at play hard to get. You, you can't see that. Play hard to get. Yeah, this crow. Mm hmm. They sure like to come off as very confident, but really they secretly want you and need you. And uh, yeah, they they yeah, I think this is what I what I was getting with the lies, the deceit. At first, you might see them as like playing hard to get, but really you secretly think that they're in love. And I feel that that's true. They're, they, they really like you immediately, um, but they strategize too much. Like this person's way too much in their head when you first meet them, okay? Um, but we have play hard to get. Yeah, this person, they definitely could be an Aries. This is very bullheaded, whoever this person is. And then we have olive skin tone. So that could help maybe narrow it down. So yeah, okay guys, I hope this reading helped you. Oh, wait, before I go, some charmies. Some charmies. Oh, we've got a shark. Okay, okay. I don't know what that's about. We've got um, a lobster, so like a, a like a cancer or something. Oh wow, yeah. There's definitely cancer. There's a crab there. So cancer. Um, that looks like Pegasus. <laughs> I don't know. These are really not great charms either. Okay, we've got Gemini or Scorpio there. The tree of life, I feel. Yeah, the tree of life twice. Wow, guys, this is definitely divinely guided. And it's meant to help you grow. Like, you're going to learn a lot about each other. Oh, I love it. There's a lot of healing here. A lot of healing. Um, and then I can't think of what this is. Um, I can't remember the word for it. Yeah, just it's kind of cool because I'm not getting heavy spiritual vibes from you guys. But I do feel there will be a level of 
like a level of healing that is a little bit mystical. Okay, maybe, you know, Reiki or something like that. But I don't feel it's overly spiritual. I'm not getting that from this pile, really. Oh my God, but look, look at this. You have the same charm twice. Look, that's cute. That's cute. Maybe their love language is touch. They could definitely be physical touch. I think that that's what you guys will have in common. Physical touch is both your love language here. And then, oh, that's funny. I literally said there's not much mystical here. And then there's the witch on her broomstick. I didn't even know I had this, honestly. It's a little woman with, her, with a broomstick. And then we've got the Taurus charm. So I hope that reading helped you guys. If you want a personal with me, all the information's in the description. I love you and I will talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.